Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to greener, cleaner beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try things out for you so you know what to buy, and more importantly, what not to buy. I have a new guide launching. It will have been launched by the time of this video. It is the second volume of the Brits Picks Guide. Oh my God. So here it is, 40 plus updates, oh my God. I'm so excited to share it with you. There is a promotion going on right now. It is currently half off for 48 hours. The first 48 hours, so Sunday it launched yesterday, the 25th, and through the end of the day today, you can get it for half off. So yeah, jump on it let your friends know. I'm pulling a few favorites from each category and um, let's just dive into it, shall we? Okay, here we go. The editing process was real. So funny because somebody just recently asked me, how much is my makeup collection worth? Oh, I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna, I don't know. I'll tell you this, thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours spent reviewing have been distilled and put into this one guide that is filled with my absolute favorites. These are the products I would buy again and again. And fun fact, nobody can pay to get in here. Nobody. Nobody can pay to get in here. If they sent me product, I star that in there. There's not a lot of product that gets sent to me. I've talked about this in another video. But this is a true collection of my ultimate favorites. Here it is broken out by category again. If you click through to the site, you can see kind of a sneak preview. I have to blur a lot because then you'll see the products and that kind of, you know. 23 categories and within each category, so for instance in mascaras, I've edited down to the three or four favorites. I forget if there's four in there. But let me tell you, it was not easy to edit down and it really, really forced myself to streamline as much as possible because I want this to be hyper edited. I want this to follow my personal mantra of fewer better so I tried to recreate that for you with each product you will have one or two links driving to either just a quick shop link or you're gonna get a link to the review the majority of the products have scorecard reviews which is great because you can click through into the review which is a lot more comprehensive you can see demos you can see swatches you can see all the rest of it just in case you're on the fence or you're intrigued and you want to see more sent off but I'm going to talk through a couple of my favorites so we're going to start with prep one of my all-time faves every time I use the Osmia Simply Face Cream people are like wow your skin looks good what are you using and I started to notice the pattern. I'm like, wow, this stuff is pretty great. It's just a great day cream. It's heavier. It's great for sensitive skin. That's one of my favorites. It's not the favorite, by the way. None of these are the favorite of each category. I'm just giving you kind of like little bits and pieces that you can kind of chew on and get a little preview on and then you can dive into the full guide. I do have concealers in there, of course. And yes, the Fit Glow Peach Corrector, which is not a concealer, but for me, I use it as a concealer all the time. So that's a newbie. That kind of beat out a previous option. So again, ruthless battles, beauty battles, but yeah, it made it in there for a reason. It's really something that I love. It's a natural look. It still brightens even though it color corrects and neutralizes. It does a lot of things. And I actually prefer it to the Fit Glow Concealer. I don't know why or how that happened, but I just like the texture of it. It's lighter. Fit Glow Concealer, this is just an aside. It's not in the guide. You're getting an extra tip bonus round. Um, it's a little thicker, better for brightening, but I like something that's a little lighter weight. So I happen to really love the corrector. It's lightweight, but it does a really good job. I do have tinted moisturizers in there. I'm sure you can guess a couple of them. So I will go straight into, let's talk about the Jane Iredale Liquid Minerals Foundation. Now this was a foundation that I initially panned on the channel, panned it. It is very different from any other one I've tried. It has like a gel texture to it, but it dissolves into the skin, it melts in. It somehow covers and yet is incredibly lightweight. So it does a magical thing once it's applied to the face. This is the foundation that I used every day when I was on the road for my recent road trip. Every day, and my skin was stressed. It was not cute. Now, you might be asking, do you really need to wear foundation if you're on the road for eight to nine to 10 hours a day in the middle of a pandemic when you're not really stopping and gonna see anybody except for your cat meowing in the front seat? Yes, you do. It made me feel human. I just felt better with it. And so I applied it and you know what? It took two seconds, so I didn't even have to worry about it. I would pump it out, put it on my face, and then you're done. 
you moving on. You hit the road. Thank God I'm not doing that right now because I didn't think I've gotten enough driving in for the next 40 years. Pretty much. Yep, yep, yep. It's a great foundation. I love it. Now you know why. Powder foundation. I will give you both because I am generous and I feel like it. One of the favorites from the powder foundation category is the Lily Lolo powder foundation in Cool Caramel. Another newbie kicked out a previous winner. Wow, it's still happening. It's insane, I know. You guys already saw the video. Um, hopefully you did. If not, you can click below to see it. Off the bat, it doesn't happen often, but when I try a product, I can just tell instantly that it's gonna be a good one. That was one of them. Also, it's a great price point. Next, we have highlighters. Now, I am not your highlighter person. Not that girl, never been that girl. Um, This one I really love because it's so different from any other product I've tried. It's the Maya Chia highlight of the day. I have it in happy hour. I'm gonna try the other colors, but I wanna finish this one first. If I put too much on, it can go south real fast. It'll look <laughs> like like Blue Man Group, but, but more like a pearlized opal sheen instead of just the bright blue. A little bit goes a long way, but it creates this lit from within kind of candlelight situation. It feels wonderful. You don't even know it's there. You can put it on top. You can do it a bunch of different ways. Cheeks, eyes, whatever. It's a really cool product. It's really fun to use. Hey, mascara, you knew it was gonna make it. I'm not gonna give you a newbie for everyone or else I would ruin the surprise. Just honest beauty mascara, it's still there. It's still there. It did not get beat out by somebody Although there are some new mascaras in the mix. The Honest Beauty mascara and primer is still there. It is still fantastic. The mascara section was really, really hard. Sat with it for days. This is the stuff I do now. <laughs> I can't talk to you. I have to figure out whether or not these mascaras are gonna make it into the guide. Whoever I'm talking to is like, okay. Then for palettes, I included the Cloven Hallow Sunrise Palette. This should be not a surprise to anybody that has been watching this channel. Thank you for watching. I have warmer tones in there, but there is a cooler tone option. I just love it. I just keep reaching for it. That's the thing. I just keep reaching for it. When it's over, I will want to buy it again. Eyeliner, Zuzu Luxe. It's still my favorite liquid eyeliner. Hands down, wearing it today. Zuzu Luxe. I don't feel like I need to say much more than that. Let's talk about lip stuff. The new addition there is Red Apple Lipsticks. I just had a full review on those. Love those lipsticks. And I mean, there's a couple of others. Let's see, do I have another new one? There's a lot of newness in lipsticks. I have to tell you, there's a lot of newness there. Red Apple Lipsticks on there. I did a pretty comprehensive review. I was gifted a ton of shades. So I was able to try them out, which is always kind of fun because then you get to see more shades and pick one that's good for you. They also have an amazing shade range outside of just the ones I've tried. Some of the best colors I've seen, lots of colors to choose from, very, very fun. Tools, I have my Gua Sha in there. It was there last time. It continues to be a favorite of mine. I use it almost every day. I kind of got out of the habit after the move because everything was just all over the place, really. But uh, yeah, now I'm back into it and it's just this beautiful facial massage moment. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> This is the symbol for me, for facial massage. Facial massage. Facial massage. Say it 10 times fast and then make fun of me. Facial massage, facial massage, facial massage, facial massage. It's actually kind of hard. All right, moving on, skincare. Ugh, yeah, right. Well, I wasn't gonna put skincare into this because I've really had some interesting experiences and I've been using so much of my DIY skincare. Now, yes, I am bringing it back in, I'm roping it in, whatever this means. A lot of hand gestures in this video. So, mm, which one am I gonna include? Well, because it just relaunched and we thought it was gone forever, I'm gonna say it. It's the Herbivore Bakuchiol. It's the retinol. It's the alternative to retinol and it's Good. It's good. I don't know if it's gonna sell out again. Buy stock in it. Whatever you need to do, girls, men, women, whoever's using it. It's equal opportunity. Went out of my life. I was devastated, like a lot of people were. Then I had a fun note from a subscriber who told me, made my day, and I bought it. And then at the end, I have some promo codes in there that you can use when you shop. It's just, it's, I'm very happy with this guide. I'm very proud of it and I loved creating it. And I just wish I could spend my days creating this and filming and doing nothing. Well, I would wanna do other things. I would wanna like eat and cook and hang out with you guys and see some friends probably. Read a book with the cat. I hope you are inspired. I hope you check out the guide. There you go, that's all I have for today. Don't forget, 48 hours, 50% off. If you miss it, you miss it. It's not gonna happen again. <gasps> Bye.